Hello again, this is Jesse Johnson. This is part two. This is part two of the great, the, pardon me, the four great dome firmaments and their heights. Now, where we left off was Bar number 18, Barrington Land. That's where we left off in part one. If you have not seen part one, please do so now. Because this, this will fill you in. This is part two. Now, for all my videos, for all my videos, write Jesse Johnson Flat Earth into YouTube. That's J E S S I E. Jesse Johnson Flat Earth into YouTube. And share this video, please. Share this video, all parts one, two, and three. Now, let's continue. Look at this. This is the scientific foundations of the Earth. The Earth is scientifically is proven to be stationary. This is did with centripetal force, basic centripetal force mechanics. Number two, the Earth is micro-concave. That means it is not by land. It is microscopically concave. Number three, by water. By water, it is 100% flat. Number four, it is domed. It has four great general domes housing it. Number five, the earth is also hollow. Also, number six, the earth also has extra land or extraterrestrial. Number seven, the earth as a generalized whole is a gigantic disc-shaped object. Number eight, it no doubt it was it was probably not necessarily but probably designed number 9 it has four realms or multi-realmed which is the the first antarctic between that is the central earth the second antarctic between that is the seas and land and the third antarctic between that is the um is more land Number 15, there are 15 models of the earth. The round ball shaped model that you have been taught in school is the only one that is totally and utterly impossible on every point. Totally impossible in every point. This is the round ball shaped globe earth, a physical impossibility on all points. Number one, we'll start with the sun. The sun is here. And it is 1,651.29 miles above the surface of the Earth. Polaris is 60. Is oh, Polaris, the North Star is 6,590 miles above the Earth. The fixed stars, the high fixed stars, uh, uh, pardon me, the low fixed stars, is a maximum of 10,000 miles maximum. That's the low. Even I, I mistaken put high, but it's low right here. Low fixed stars. Then the number four is the high fixed stars. I put low, but it means high. The high fixed stars are are 175,000 to 200,000 miles um, uh, above the Earth's surface. Approximate mac maximum for the Earth's dome firmaments. Number one, the Earth, 73, the, the, the main dome of, of the Earth is 73 miles to 90 miles high above the Earth. The second dome, the Sun, Moon, the Sun, Moon, and Wandering Stars Dome, which is here, is uh, uh, 2,000 miles, approximately, miles above the Earth's surface. It houses the Sun, Moon, and all the, 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 uh, the, um, the, uh, wandering stars. Each one of these stars, Venus is the Sun for the, for this part of the Earth. Mars also is the Sun for this part of the Earth. Saturn is the Sun for this part of the Earth. And Neptune is the part, is, is the, is, is the Sun for this part of the Earth. Mercury is the moon for this part of the Earth. Jupiter is the moon for this part of the Earth. Uranus is the moon for this part of the Earth. And Pluto, a question mark here, Pluto is a question mark, uh, even though I forgot to put the question mark. Nonetheless, there's a question mark that goes here. Pluto is a question mark for the moon that goes to this part of the Earth, right here. Now, Along with all of this, there's Admiral Byrd. Admiral Byrd stated 
beyond the pole. This is beyond the pole, which is the third Antarctic. Beyond the pole, which is the third Antarctic. That's on the other side of the South Pole, which is the South Pole is here. On the other side of the South Pole is here. And this is beyond that South Pole. And this is on the other side of Little America. Little America is about here on the first Antarctic continent. In other words, three poles. This here is the universal fields of the Earth. The Earth has four fields, electric field, magnetic field, ether field, and max mass field. Now, this here is the second, this is the third Antarctic, second Antarctic, and the, the, uh, the Earth is hollow. The Earth is hollow, like it states here, it's hollow, number five here, and it's hollow right here, and it is, a, I, I, my, 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 um, my, Supposition is that the Earth is 150 miles thick here, 150 miles in between in the hollowness, and 150 miles on top, 150 miles thick here. And the, this is the moon for this part of the Earth, and the sun for this part of the Earth, and this here is Mount Maru. And this here is 90 degrees. Central North Pole, 90 degrees, Mount Maru, and here's the Central South Pole, which is on the other side of the Earth at 90 degrees. 90 degrees, Central South Pole, 90 degrees, Central North Pole. The Earth has two sides, the Earth, Earth side one, no, pardon me, the Earth side one, right here, and Earth side two, where we live. And the Earth right here is 90, Central South Pole is 90 degrees, and over here is 90 degrees south. Right here is 190 degrees south. Over here is 290 degrees south. And at the at the at the uh, 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 edge of the Earth, where the Earth's edge, dome edge is, is 300 degrees south. And right inside the sun and the sun, the sun and the moon dome, which is the sun and moon dome, right here, the sun and moon dome, this is the Mark Sargent, where it's yellow, where it's all yellow, this is the Mark Sargent primary earth dome, right here, which is 70, approximately 74 miles, on average, height above the earth, and this is the radius from the all central south pole and central north pole, from Mount Maru, all the way to the First Antarctic is 12,450 miles. From the first Antarctic to the second Antarctic is 12,450 miles. And, um, and, um, uh, from the second Antarctic to the third Antarctic is 12,450 miles. Roughly about 37,200 miles in radius. All of these added together. Roughly about 37,200 miles in radius. The moon, our moon, is 1,550 to 1,600 miles above the Earth's surface right here. And this dome right here is the 2,000 mile high Sun, moon, and wandering stars dome firmament right here, right here. The 2,000 mile high, approximately average, high sun, moon, wandering stars dome firmament. And inside the uh, 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 sun, the 2,000 mile high average sun, moon, wandering stars dome firmament is inert gases because cloud clouds can be seen inside or around the sun at times with the regular type camera with the regular type zoom lens camera so there's an inert gases inside of this 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 uh what's his name uh, this 2000 mile high sun moon wandering stars dome from it to to uh for some reason and also inside of our uh uh uh, uh mark sergeant uh, a primary earth dome is also our gas and the, the, uh, uh, since it is a physical impossibility for a for um, for for gas to be under pressure without a container therefore the one of the main reasons for the for the domes themselves the derm, dome firmaments is to keep the pressure of gas of the earth inside at all times because without a container there is no no pressure and also there's a necessarily needed pressure up inside here perhaps 
because there's an inert gas inside the 2,000 mile high, approximately 2,000 mile dome. Now, we will go to, to uh, part three. This has been part two, and we will start. This is a side view. This is a side view, and we will start with the earth with this uh, uh, part three. Part three will uh, uh, will will come right after this one, and we'll start with this one right here. We'll start where we left off with the first one. I want to thank everyone. So meet meet me at part three, and we will see each other on part three, and and we'll catch each other there.